welcome back. As you can see, I have just exited Vault 101, or at least this wooden shack opening that leads to a cave that then leads to the entrance of Vault 101. And now, oh, I level up, of course. <laughs> Do -do -do. Put up some big guns, energy weapons. See, the first thing I like to do is I always like to make my, the what are these called? Skill, all these skills, make them nice round numbers, usually ending with either zero or five. Um, just kind of a, ah, I don't want to do that. Kind of a mini OCD thing. So let's see, 35. Um, 40, perfect. No, yeah. No. Better idea. 25. And then, I usually don't add ones that, see how Daddy's Boy adds like a five, like a cer five points or points to a certain uh, skill? I don't do that, because I know that by the end of the game, I'll be able to have whatever skill points I want. So I choose ones that change or better gameplay, i.e. like this, Lady Killer. So, I'm done. And, um, so yeah, now I officially begin my uh, fight for survival out here in the Capital Wasteland. It is a vast... Oh, okay, and then all the DLC pop-ups. Interesting. <laughs> it is a vast and mysterious place. More pop-ups. See, that's for, um, the pit, which is, I go to, um, what's called, what's called, Pittsburgh, <laughs> yes, and, um, I'm gonna get another pop-up here soon, or not, <laughs> um, it is a vast and mysterious place, concealing, ah, there we go, there we go, another ship's aid, and broken steel, that, please tell me that's it, is that it, anything else you wanna say to me, didn't think so, okay, <laughs> Let's see. Conceals mystery. Oh no, it's a vast mystery. Oh my gosh! Chase us! Chase us! That's, um, uh, Operation Alaska. No, no, that's what it's called. Operation Anchorage. There we go. Uh, concealing event adventure around every corner and danger in every step. Whew. Oh my gosh! Alright. But, um, uh, now that that's finished, <laughs> um, I can get some real gameplay in. So, yeah, walking around Capital Wasteland. Nothing really big to do for now. Uh, this place kind of reminds me of my grandparents' home. You know, kind of gray, dull, and bleak. No signs of life. <laughs> I kid, I love my grandma's house. Anyway, because there are cookies there and other stuff that I'm not going to get into. <laughs> um, yes. So I think up oh, there's Megaton. Let's see, it says right there. Um, I'm going to need a little bit of input from you guys about some, like, decisions I make along the way. I mean, not around, like, every corner, like, should I enter this door? Post in the comments. But, like, sort of large decisions that'll affect the overall gameplay. So, um, yeah, I'll just enter Megaton. And, um, so, uh, so this is a very general question that will affect the entire gameplay. Should I stick to the main quest and then at the end finish all, like, the side quests? And, oh my gosh, no, I don't want to talk to you. You know, finish all the side quests and stuff, or should I do that as they come up? and take a while to complete right. the main story, so, so to yeah, and then I'll probably do a separate gameplay series afterwards for the DLC. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just so, yeah. fine. And you treat my people due to nice, all those to notifications, you probably tonight. noticed that it was Gotti, that this is Gotti, Fallout 3 Gotti, um, G-O-T-Y, uh, Game of the Year edition. So um I'm glad we understand. Yeah, each other. I just said Gotti a lot. Is there something I can help you with? All right. So, I'm looking for my father. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I, I don't see any have fires, time dude. to keep tabs you on crazy. every visitor. 
I'd ask around town. I'd ask around town. All right, I could use some directions around sure town. Sure thing. Where's the closest clinic? Where's the closest weapons dealer? Is there a bar in town? Sure is. Just be careful. Moriarty is not Moriarty. These got some weird names. All right. Um. Where's More the closest less. general store? Store. Where can I, I rent a bed? Can you talk about something else? Let's discuss this. What bomb. about it? Um. Don't you think someone should disarm the thing? I don't trust. Why? I could see about disarming. If you. Speech six percent. Oh, that's not gonna go well. I don't need a reward. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't. Well, come to think, spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. It's called. Don't blow us. Don't blow us up. I love how well they enunciate. It's so proper English. Inglesios. Oh, I don't want to place baton. Right, I have all this stuff now. Alright. Can I disarm this bomb? You're crazy. Oh, it's rad. It's radiated. Ah. I need to get... What was it? What skill is it? Energy weapons? Repair. Oh. Explosives 25 or higher. Come forth to gather and behold the power of that. Who have we here? In each our own way, we are all lost. Oh my gosh, this guy is so annoying. Where's the closest Atom clinic? Can only heal the wounds of the okay, okay, I get it. Is there a weapon? Okay. Never mind. I don't want to ask you any more what? questions. Tell me about yes, the church. What? what do you believe? The church of the children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. You when that are crazy. atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two. Oh my god. Thus signifying the single greatest act yeah. of Atom's creation. Okay, phone call. Occasionally um, a divine here we, occurs, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens every day from now on. That's created. ridiculous. The last such event took place here two hundred years ago. Where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation, we see creation. All right, you guys are crazy. What, <laughs> what the hell is wrong with Even you? Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. Oh my gosh. And Do you accept donations? What? Here. I appreciate. <sighs> Bask in Atom's glow. I don't want to. It's nasty. I don't want to turn into a squid. Hey. Cult cult pamphlet. Hey there. Let's see what his cult pamphlet has to say. Oh, birthday poem. Right. Gray walls, impenetrable steel, suffocation, condemnation, little hands groping in subterranean uncertainty. Mommy, daddy, am I dead? Nay, nay. Reborn into purifying fluorescence, a face emerges strong and male, father to me, father to all, overseeing our lives, our eternity, uh, our eternities, harshness of discipline, harshness of love, obedience, my savior, larva to pupa, pupa to worker, buzz, buzz, one with the steel honeycomb, ten lies within the one o one, significant at last, till gray seeps from walls and hair to soul, to hair, to soul, then eternal slumber, the sweet sleep of incineration. Okay, so basically they burn us when we're dead. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I, I don't really know how to tell you this. Tell who this? I hope you'll understand, but Me. I know you might be angry. Uh, yeah, I'm I angry. I've about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So Idiot. many things could have gone wrong. You're such a meanie. There's really no telling how the overseer will react. Ah! It's best if he that was unnecessary. I'm sorry. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. Yeah, he's dead, I and I found this note on his dead body. You're an adult now. Adult. You're ready to be on your own. 
Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. Yes, we will, because they were trying to kill me, so I had to get the heck out of there. I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. I'm gonna follow you. 